okay guys let's work on the tense tutorial where we will be going to our saved fragment and implementing the delete functionality here uh, I think the app has crashed for some reason so let's see why is that or maybe the app is okay but uh, yeah the app is okay but some emulator problem don't no need to worry about that so here we want to delete all these fragments right how do we do it so let's just jump right into it we'll just copy some of the code from here okay save news is already open let's just go to breaking news and get these three lines that we would need and for the delete we already have that uh, code right uh, written in the view more view model class so we'll just go here and put this here and okay so menu provider so yes okay there we go and now here we only want to display because if we set the menu then it will display all whatever that is present in there but we only want to display the delete icon so here we are inflating the whole menu in on create menu so if we see here yeah so the delete icon the search and all that has to be okay i'll just take this one line and then we can work our way so let's just go in here the menu is going to be here now um wall search icon wall saved icon menu the find item the r id search news menu find item saved icon save news fragment yeah so these all have to be hidden when we are in the saved fragment okay done now we'll just come in here let me just go back to when I need this code line okay okay so let's just go in here and if menu item item id is equals to delete then what to do so then it should display a beautiful dialogue that we can create wall builder alert dialog dot builder require context we can delete it directly but why not just create this type title delete menu builder dot set subtitle or set message maybe are you sure to delete all saved articles okay builder dot set positive button and the text is going to be delete all of that button so here we are going to pass dialog dot which okay so simple view model delete all gone I can add toast but it will not appear on the emulator this is the reason and once it deletes find nav controller navigate to uh, from save to fragment breaking news okay 
once it deletes but we will just add another button which says builder dot set negative button because cancel and here we simply again same thing dialog which and dialog dismiss and here we will just come in here while log dialog wall well dialog builder create so that means we have created our okay return true so this will just delete our all articles and actually for this one we have to add a little bit of okay so our delete functionality is great now let's fix some other things and we will be done with this tutorial I'm going to add some beautiful animations so let's just go to our navigation graph okay if we are entering in the action from fragment breaking to articles right then this this should throw this uh, animation all these animations are in the folders and if we run the app then you will see okay then true and I will explain in a while what this extra step that I'm doing okay so if we are going to article fragment right fragment do not work like activities fragments actually if we go to one fragment to another fragment then uh, the, the first fragment that we initially came from to the second fragment it remains in the stack so we have to clear that so fragment article if we go back from fra fragment article then fragment article from will be removed from the stack so this is the main purpose of this okay now again if we are going to again we'll just copy this whole thing if we are going to saved fragment from breaking news then again but here fragment saved is going to be removed not the fragment article because we went from breaking news to saved okay again so now let's come to fragment article to saved and okay this action here again we have gone to okay so fragment saved we have gone to fragment saved fragment saved is going to be removed from article to saved and I think our uh, if we are going from fragment article to breaking news then breaking news has to be removed okay and then we would just come down and that's all so let's run the app I think I think this would be last of our what we want to do is okay let's run the app and see and I think in article view we have to work a little bit maybe So we have worked really beautifully on this app and these pop-up tools and these kind of attributes they are very important because you would notice if you don't add this then you would notice like some weird behavior if you are clicking back then the app won't exit some kind of weird stuff happens. So that is why you have to remove mm, the fragment from the stack. Okay so let's say we are here and obviously this these two should not appear here so we'll just work on that but let's say delete and it is not showing me the the dialog here because of emulator API I think so I don't know I'm not sure if how do I how do I show you guys okay mm. well first of all let's get rid of these two and then we will talk more okay let's go back 
you see that animation now you see this animation now so there are animations at play so let's just click on this one and I'll just click on saved again there is an animation right okay so yeah it's working here okay so if I click on delete all boom our saved news is empty right and if I go back and save again then our uh, article is saved again so I'll just go back and maybe uh, the problem that we have faced here is uh, if we go directly from from like breaking news to save fragment then yeah it's hiding but okay that's good I will relaunch the app to see what is happening here um, what to do okay for some reason okay app is mm, maybe relaunching the app okay it's working perfectly so if you want to further like do something on it like implement uh, like click from save to going back to fragment article you can do that i'll just click on this and cancel okay going back and guys thank you so much this article would not have been possible uh, with like uh, the help of another youtuber philip lackner but uh, his uh, uh, tutorial like had different design and also uh, in the app I have done like maybe 30 to 40 percent things differently when it comes to time conversion when it comes to room database implementation I have done it differently and also the layout is different and also uh, what I have done is I have implemented search view differently there is like a lot that I have done differently from him but uh, thankful to him for like generating like this uh, like good content on his channel so yeah okay so we will see you in the next one thank you